Hi, back again uh, to a new tutorial. Today we will animate on mesh uh, like dancing and um, we want to make it with uh, motion capturing um, data. So the first step is to go to CG Speed and um, download these zip files here. They are in other uh, motions. Uh, motions for going, jumping, kicking, dancing, all. Uh, when you downloaded that, um, there is a uh, file there you can see um, what is where. That is this mocap index. When you open that, you see here jump, forward, walk, something else. And if you want some, there is the folder and the file number. 16 is the folder and file number is the 02. So here you see the 16 and 02 is here. So that are motions that a uh, mesh can do. So what we must do, you download it at all, okay, you search your animation that you want, then we go to Blender and import this motion in Blender. So we go to import. Uh, normally at the standard this uh, option is not there to import that, so you must first go to user preferences and there you have import export add-ons and there you can click here and activate this format for import okay so i did it uh, a long time before so motion import the motion i go to the motion in my case, uh, I search for a dance that is in 60 and the number 9. Okay, import. So we see we have a skeleton here. Can make a little bit smaller. So a skeleton here. And when we. This here is a timeline. Yeah, you can select timeline then you have this timeline and when you click here on play you see the dancing uh, skeleton it's not much in the moment because that is a little bit short we'll make it 2000 something like this yeah it comes okay Good, and that we will make with our mesh on. So we go back to start here, is back to the zero. Uh, we have thousand frames, we are at frame one in the moment. So, what we must do first is we have here new options that is our, um, our skeleton, we can take rest position or post position. We take rest position for start and uh, build a simple mesh around this um, skeleton. So what we do, we add a mesh cylinder with um, six faces. Get them here in the middle. Um, go to the edit mode and back forward selection on and delete this so we have the half so we can use a um, mirror modifier to complete that so we must only make one side to do the whole mesh so what we do here we mark that and scale them down oh clipping must be on so now it's clips so uh, here we have the, the old 
part of this simple mesh and here we want to make the neck and this hole so extrude scale in extrude again maybe scale a little bit in, in the y and scale again so we haven't had something like this okay close with f so we need a leg here so we extrude scale down or maybe scale in y again so close that now here this face we can take for the um, leg first part go there and from then rotate extrude again rotate to oh sorry did wrong rotate to horizontal okay we can make this here fatter and so on but 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 this is a fine tuning yeah we, we don't need that in a moment you can do that all later so um we go here a little bit deeper and you see uh, here comes the foot out so we make a loop in here and can extrude this front to the bones so the important thing is that uh, all is inside this mesh the bones yeah so here we can extrude scale down and pull out our arm with three parts like in real and once again so that is our superstar here our dancer that we animate make a little bit fatter you know make a little bit so you know what I mean yeah okay so that is our mesh that we build um, and now we must combine this with the other so there the position is the, the, the point um, first you must select the mesh then hold shift key and select with right mouse button the skeleton then you can press Control P and then you have here an option with automatic weights that means each bone becomes part of this mesh to deform them okay so we can go here to the rest position to the pose position that is here under the amateur they can make that's the rest position so you can adjust and post position is he can do something yeah and when we now hit play you see our character dance that was all so um, for this simple thing you can imagine what you can do when you <laughs> take a little time to make a good character. Okay, see us in the next tutorial. Thanks a lot.